Okay, so we got the vacuum press um, all laid out here and uh, got the instrument on here as well. And you, uh, just so you can have an idea of how big this bag is, this is uh, I had to order this one special from this company, but uh, you know, um, I'll tell you one thing for $100, this uh, was one of the best $100 bills I ever spent uh, just because this thing is great for this laminating anything really. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop, pop it in here to laminate the back piece on too when we get to that point. But anyways, what I want to do first is I want to try and wet this piece here um, to get it a little bit pliable, kind of loosen up the fibers. Uh, and when we pop it in here, we're going to put a complete vacuum on here and we're going to see if uh, we're going to see if that's enough to get this to mate down to the bottom here um, where we've cut away our, our armrest. There's some, I'll show you there's this breather mesh that we got to put around it as well too and what that does is it allows, you know, uh, for one, it allows the valve not to bottom out on uh, the top of here, because if, if that happens, then we won't be able to put any air in there. We won't be able to get a proper vacuum. Okay, so we've got our piece taped on here in place, and uh, we've got it all wet on this corner here, and it looks like it's pretty pliable. So I'm hoping this is going to work. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to open up our bag here. This stuff's going to be tough to open. That's good, because it means it seals well. One of the things you got to be careful of here when you're putting it in here is to try not to touch the guitar on this tape because I've had pieces of the tape come off and it, you know, you got to end up sanding the piece off but you're scraping it off slowly because it just, there's no other way to, uh, to get it off of there. Nothing will clean it off. So, it's going to be a little bit tricky single handedly, but. So we want to try and have this valve over top of the body of the guitar. Okay, now I'm going to make sure there's no wrinkles in here. And you just want to smooth the back out over this tape and run your thumb across it really well. Just to make sure it's sealed. The one place that you've got to really check here is right in the corners. I'm going to make sure there's a push right up against the seam in the corners. And this tape is pretty thick, so it's pretty forgiving. Um, you know, I've never lost a vacuum on one. Once I've got a vacuum on it, it's, it's held tight every time. So, okay, we're looking pretty good there. So now we're gonna keep an eye on this and see. It looks like uh, looks like this vacuum might just work for this. So let's give it a shot here. This really gets it to a full vacuum state here. Start to feel the resistance now. starting to pull the moisture out of the wood where we wet this piece here. You know we've got a pretty good vacuum when that happens. And this looks like you know we don't have any leakage there. Let's just lift this up and have a look here. And oh yeah. Let's push that pretty tight now. For this glue up, I am going to be using a spreader just because I got a lot of real estate I got to cover here in a short amount of time. Okay, so we're just going to lift this off here for a second. You can see we've got a bit of a curve happening there already. You can see that. 
Um, not quite enough for what we need, but that's okay. It gets us close enough that uh, we're going to be gravy. Okay, so I'm going to get a bunch of glue on here. We want to work as quick as possible with this because, like I said before, this stuff sets up quickly. Just get in and out. That looks pretty good there. vacuum that we're going to get with that so and you'll know you got full vacuum you can't pull this up anymore all the way we're pretty close there Loosen for any leakage, don't hear anything, it means we're good. Okay, so it's been about four or five hours, the glue's had plenty of time to set up now. Um, we've taken it out of the vacuum bag, and uh, here's our top laminated on, you can see our, uh, you can see our arm rest there. And uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take it over and uh, we're going to set up a, uh, a drum sander on the drill press, and it's got a, uh, it's got a guide bearing on it. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our sanding drum set up in our uh, drill press here. You can see on the bottom, we've got a guide bearing. And uh, uh, so pretty much we're just going, going to go around here in any areas that we can fit into. We're going to go ahead and uh, clean up a profile on this. Any of these small areas that we can't quite get into with uh, this size of drum, the ceiling size drum I have, unfortunately, for this. Uh, so any areas that we can't get in with that, we will just take the uh, template and we'll trace the, um, we'll line it up with the areas that we do got finished. Uh, we'll trace the remainder um, of the parts and we'll take it over to the actual um, drum sander and we'll just sand to those lines. Okay, so we've brought the instrument over to uh, the assembly table here. And we're going to set up to just sand the top. And all we want to do is, uh, you know, the, the book match is a little bit proud in a couple areas, uh, very little. Um, you know, we just want to make sure we flatten that out. Kind of get a nice finish on it. We got a little bit of glue here. We got to clean up. And uh, so all I've done basically is I've just drawn a guideline around here because we don't want to go anywhere near this area with um, uh, the ram random orbital sander because it's round. And um, we're going to run a chance of this disc when it's spinning around. If it digs in anywhere on this neck, then it's going to it's going to leave a groove in that finished edge. Okay. 